with a lot of impressionist shows, and Manet was one who was admired in terms of the artists of the day in Paris in the 1850s and 60s as one of the great masters. Now, when you look at this thing, which we were going to look at as a surprise, but anyway, here we are. Um, this is actually an answer to the Corvée painting, which you saw of the woman with the carrot on her hand, that you saw in the other gallery. He saw the Corvée painting, and that is painting an answer to it. And this is also called a woman with a carrot. Now, during the Victorian time in Paris and in London, women would actually talk to their parents about their private lives and about stories that were going on in their lives and about the men in their lives. And so here you have a young woman who's in her penwad, so she's just taken off her evening gown, and she is holding a bouquet of violets, which are fresh, and also she holds them on to the monocle of a man. So we know that probably he has just left or is somewhere in her house. So she's in this brilliant pink penwad, which was a color that Manet actually used at Vox. It was a beautiful color, and he adopted it from Whistler, who we can't see today. But Whistler did a beautiful painting of Hebrew Cigarette, who was a wonderful, wealthy gentleman. He lived in Europe and actually was the combat heir. He had a number of combat franchises, and Theodore Gray loved what the French Impressionists were doing. And he loved the work of Manet and became very close to him. Well, in the portrait by Whistler, Theodore Gray wanted to be shown as a dandy. He was dressed in a black tie outfit, and he was holding a glass of a lady, and it's this color. And that's exactly where Manet saw the color. Now, let's think about what was going on in the mid to late 1800s in Europe. Well, first of all, Paris had become a mecca for all of the young buddy artists from America and from all over Europe. So the young artists such as Whistler and Sargent and Thomas Aiken were all going to Paris to study. Now, Manet also did, but of course he was living in Europe. Now, there was something called the Café Society, and there was the Café Iroquois, where Manet would hang out with Renoir, Monet, their names were always being changed, by the way, and a number of the other artists of the time. Now, even though Manet would not be timid, he was always talking art theory and sharing lives with them. Now, Manet, like Whistler, was a bit of a dandy. He liked to dress up. He always had on fresh linen shirts and beautiful outfits, even though he really had no money. And he hardly ever sold his painting. When we look at this painting, is there an artist from the 17th century Spain that you notice any similarity to? The brushwork, the backgrounds. 17th century Spain? Good choice. Goya, man has studied and also gets it up. Velasquez. And they all went to Spain. Whistler, Sargent, <coughs> Chase, were you married Chase? Thomas Aikens went to Madrid, and so did also Manet. Now, when Manet went to Spain, he fell in love with bullfights and all of the activity that went on. And so he actually dressed his brother as a matador and noticed that he looks as if he's in a stage sort of set. And here, this was literally painted in Manet's studio, and it was against very much a black and white background. Very simple, you know, the gray, green, that you see. You'll see that in many of the last 